<laughs> You're getting ready to have the time of your life. This is fun right I'm here. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome <laughs> to The Ellen Show. I'm so excited to be a guest hosting with the one and only Miss Trisha Yearwood. Well, thank you very much. Woo! And you're looking good. Thank you. I am very excited to be hosting with you. I got to see you host this by yourself, and you did such an amazing job. Thank you for letting me. Yeah. We were back here in November. Yep. And it was a lot of fun, but I realized uh, it'd be even better if I brought the love of my life. You mean uh, your cowboy hat? Funny. <laughs> Funny. Honey, I'm talking about you. Aw. Yeah. You're so sweet. I am sweet. Okay, you're pushing it now. You're pushing it. <laughs> I don't know if all these lovely people know this, but we recently celebrated our 15th wedding anniversary. I will take applause Thank for that. Thank you very much. A lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> That's like 200 years in Hollywood. You know that, right? <laughs> if we were a Hollywood couple, then we'd have to mash up our names. That's oh, what yeah. they do. Right? Grisha. Mm. Trarth. Mm. Maybe it's good that we don't live in Hollywood. I think Hollywood's happy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Since we've been married so long, though. So long. I mean, yes. Thank you. <laughs> we thought maybe this is not a good idea, but we could give some advice on love and marriage, and I'm told there are some people here in the audience that actually have questions. Very cool. Where's Jenna? Raise your hand, Jenna. Here I am. There she is. Hello, Miss Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Hello. What's your question? My question is, what's your advice for setting the mood in the bedroom? You want to take that one? Oh, my God, Miss Jenna. <laughs> We hardly know each other, but okay. That's a <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's all, it's, it's, I think for me, music is the big thing for me to set the mood. And I don't know if you listen to country music, but one of the greatest female voices ever on the planet is this gorgeous blonde named Trisha Yearwood. <laughs> yeah, that'll get you in the mood right there. <laughs> you do need the right music, um, and there is this very sexy singer-songwriter guy who always gets me in the mood. Maybe you've heard of him. Mm -hmm. His name is John Legend. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I do love John Legend. I, do, I love listening to you too. I do. You too. You want to clear that one up? Is it the band you too? <laughs> Where's Savannah? Please, Savannah, please, save me. Please, next question, Over please. Here. There's Savannah. Hello, Miss Savannah. Hi. Hi, guys. I am fantastic. What is your question? My question is, um, I've been with my boyfriend for a long time. We live together, and he loves to play video games, which is fine. And after a long day of work, he'll tend to play, and sometimes he'll play past midnight, and it gets pretty loud. He gets really into it, yelling, you know, having fun. And sometimes it wakes me up. I have a hard time sleeping. Trisha, what would you do? I love how you said, he does this and it's fine. Like we all know what that means, right? That means it's not fine. <laughs> every, every significant other has at least one annoying habit, even if you are in the perfect relationship. And you have to find a creative way to deal with it. So Garth is, just don't listen to this part. He is um, perfect. Well, you can listen to that part. Thank you. But there's this one thing that he does that sort be. of drives me crazy. He knows it. It's whistling. In fact, um, he actually told me to stop telling him not to whistle because it takes away his joy. Um, <laughs> Fun sucker. <laughs> yes. He will wake up and start whistling something. And it can be something totally random, like the theme from Gilligan's Island or some, like, really That's seriously. It's a hell of a good theme. It though. is a good song. <laughs> But after about three or four hours of whistling the same song over and over again, I do this thing where I um, change the tune. So I'll start singing something else to kind of get him off track, and he doesn't know it until now Ooh, he knows it. Sneaky. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll have to figure I'll do something new now, because now you know. Where is Shamika? Help. I'm here. Hi, guys. Hello, Miss Shamika. Hello, Shamika. What's your question, please, quickly? <laughs> I would like to know... What is the key to a long-lasting marriage? Ooh, I'll take this one, <laughs> right? Um, I think it's, I think you got it. well, it's just kind of weird you'd ask. I think you got to treat it like a duet, right? You got to harmonize, is that fair? You That's gotta, You got to make your partner feel like their star. And uh, if not, you're going to turn it into a solo act pretty damn quick, <laughs> if you know what I mean. We're talking about lone fiddler, bass solo, that kind of guy. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I think everybody knows what you mean, honey. I think they do. <laughs> I, actually, I think we should share our secret to marriage with a little duet. Okay. What do you think? Uh, sure. A little something I wrote for you, a little surprise. Mm -hmm. Never go to bed angry. It ain't worth the fight. If you're wise, you will compromise and hold each other tight. I like it. <laughs> you better learn to say yes, dear. Every day and night 
Only one thing you remember, wife is always right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Follow that killer. He may drive you crazy with the whistling he does. And after years of training, he ain't much better than he was. If you want a happy marriage, well, let me shed some light. There's only one thing to remember. The wife is always right. Tell me one thing that song is missing. That song's missing a solo. <laughs> Are you seriously doing this right now? <laughs> what do you think? I think there's a way to segue into something else. I think that we can change this tune. Twitch, help oh. me out.